Okay, in this video I'm just going to help you get started in the worksheet. So we're going over trinomial factoring skills and this will be used in intermediate algebra later on. So um, let's start on the first row. A is 3, B is the number 4. We have to figure out what A plus B is and then what A times B is, right? So what this means is you just go A plus B is 3 plus 4, 7, write 7 there. A times B is 3 times 4, which is 12, right? Okay, and so what what would you do with the next row? Okay, so I'll come down to this row here, and I'll do negative 3 and 4. So in this case, A is negative 3, B is positive 4. So A plus B means add these together. Negative 3 plus 4. That's three negatives plus four positives. Three bad guys, four good guys. That would leave positive one, right? Multiply them. Negative three times negative four. Negative times a positive gives a negative. Three times four, 12, right? So here we have positive, a, a plus b is positive one, a times b is negative 12, right? Let me go down to where we have two negatives. A negative five and a negative five. A plus B, we need to add them, right? So we'll negative 5 plus negative 5 is going to be negative 10, right? 5 bad guys plus 5 more bad guys is 10 bad guys, negative 10. A times B, we need to multiply them. Negative 5 times negative 5, positive 25, right? So I'm hoping. They are, of course, I'm hoping you guys will fill in the rest, but I'm just going to go down and do some of these just so you get an idea of how to do the worksheet, right? When we get to this row, um, we have to figure out what a, the two numbers are, all right? We know the two numbers add, the sum is 6 and the product is 8. We know that they add to 6 and they multiply to 8, but what are they, right? So that's the task for here. So what do you think? What two numbers do you think multiply to 8 and add to 6, right? So one trick is to list the pairs of factors of 8. 1 times 8. What else? How else can we make 8? 2 times 4, right? 1 times 8, 2 times 4. Is there anything else? Right, so if you look at these, then we can figure, okay, 1 plus 8 makes 9, that's not going to work, but 2 plus, six, 2 plus 4 makes 6. So if one of the numbers was 2 and the other one was 4, then they would add to 6 and they'd multiply to 8. By the way, we could have put the 4 here and the 2 here, it doesn't matter, right? So 2 plus 4 makes 6, 2 times 4 is 8, right? And so then you can work down through here. Um, what else have we got? Let's... Um, I'll just do I'll just do this one for fun. What two numbers add to 17 and multiply to 30, right? So you might see why it is right away, but if you don't, just list the pairs of factors of 30. 1 times 30. 2 times what? 3 times what? 4 doesn't go in. 5 times what? Right? So list all the pairs of factors of 30. You got 1 times 30, you got 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6, and so on, right? Now, out of those, can we get two numbers that will add to 17 but multiply to 30? What two numbers add to 17, multiply to 30? What about 2 and 15, right? So if you have a 2 and a 15, if you add them, you get 17. If you multiply them, you get 30, right? So that's how you do this, right? Um, and I'll just do, in fact, I'll, I'll, what we should do is this one also. Look at the 9 and the 8. That might tr throw you because you've got to remember that if you have 1 and 8, you see, 1 plus 8 is 9, 1 times 8 is 8, right? 1 plus 8 is 9, 1 times 8 is 8. So don't forget your factors of 1. one don't remember that you can use the number 1 in these things, right? Um, so now we have, we'll go up to this one for fun. So what's what's A, what's B? If A plus B is 1 and A times B is negative 6. So if two numbers add to 1 and they multiply to negative 6, what are the two numbers, right? 
So again, I'm going to do my trick. I'm going to take the pr the six and I'm going to write one times six makes six, and so does two times three. Right. So I go one times six, two times three. I'll just look at those now. So can I use negatives to make this work? So what we're looking for is what two numbers will multiply to give negative six, but then if we add them, we get positive one. So we've got to figure out what two numbers multiply to negative six, but add to positive one. Okay. Remember, you can use put negatives on on one of these things. So I like the idea of using two and three because there's a difference of one between them. You see that? It's the difference of one between them. One and six, there's a difference of five. That's not going to help. All right. So what do you think the answer is? So if you use two and three. See, if you make the 2 a negative, negative 2 plus positive 3, what does that make? See, a negative 2 plus a positive 3 is a positive 1, isn't it? And then when we multiply them, negative 2 times positive 3 is a negative 6. So if one of your numbers is negative 2 and the other is positive 3, that'll work. Add them, positive 1, multiply them, negative 6, right? So we can go down through the line like this. And the next one, is they multiply to negative 6 but they add to negative 1. What do you think that is? They multiply to negative 6 but they add to negative 1. How about a positive 2 and a negative 3 this time? See that? Because if you add them you get negative 1. If you multiply them you get negative 6. Right? So that's what I'm asking you to do is just go down through the list and see if you can figure out <coughs> what two numbers multiply to give what's here and add to give what's here, right? And so what else should we do? Um, let's see. Let's see, what will I do? Um, I mean, that's the idea. What about this? I'll just do this one for fun. What two numbers multiply to give 15 and add to give negative 60? So if we multiply them, we get 15. If we add them, we get negative 16, right? Multiply them, get positive 15. Add them, get negative 16. Right, so multiply them to give positive 15. Um, add them to get negative 16. Well again, list the factors of 15. You've got 1 times 15, 2 doesn't go in, and you've got 3 times 5, right? And they got, and if you think about this, look, 1 and 15 make 16, doesn't it? So that might help. Because if you have a negative 1 and a negative 15, negative 1 and negative 15, that makes negative 16. If you multiply them, negative 1 times negative 15, that's positive 15, right? So a negative 1 and a negative 15. They multiply to positive 15, they add to negative 16, don't they? Right? Okay, and uh, let's do this one for fun. What two numbers multiply to 0, or sorry, add to 0 and multiply to negative 9, right? They add to 0, they multiply to give negative 9. So they multiply to negative 9, but then when we add them, we get 0, right? And again, you can list the pairs of factors of 9. 1 times 9, 3 times 3, right? 1 times 9, 3 times 3. Now look at the 0. If you take 3 and 3, they have a difference of 0, right? So that might give you an idea. What two numbers mul multiply to negative 9 but add to 0? Well, if you take 3 plus negative 3, those guys add to 0, don't they? And then if you multiply them, 3 times negative 3, that gives you negative 9. So positive 3, negative 3 will work there. Look, they add to 0, they multiply to negative 9, right? And, um, And we'll see if we can 
work your way through here. I guess we could probably do this last one. What two numbers multiply to positive 9 and what two numbers add to negative 6? Multiply to negative 9, add to negative 6. Right? So again, 9 is 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. Remember, 3 and 3 make 6, doesn't it? So that might help us. See that? So how about a negative 3 and a negative 3? Those guys add to negative 6, don't they? And if you multiply them, you get positive 9. So a negative 3 and a negative 3 will add to negative 6 and multiply to positive 9, right?